Hello, I am Professor Stephen Abbott. Welcome to another resource for adhesion science. My apology that this opening slide is so crowded. Hansen's solubility parameters are vital for understanding adhesion. I don't know how you can formulate without HSP. I have written some HSP software, the HSPIP package here, datasets, ebook, all available from hansensolubility.com. And it's a great package, but here I'm talking about free resources. I've also written another book, Nano Coatings Principles and Practice, and there's a large spreadsheet from there with lots of worksheets, and two of those worksheets are about using Hansen solubility parameters. So for those of you who want to apply HSP to adhesion science, you don't have to buy HSPIP. You can, in fact, use the spreadsheets, which I'll now show you. Here's the first of these workbooks. This is about the HSP sphere. When you have an unknown, for example, a polymer or a nanoparticle, and you want to understand its HSP, you mix it with a set of solvents, in this case acetone, acetonitrile, benzene, these others are not used in this particular test, chloroform, cresol, and so forth, and you give it a score. One, it's soluble or happy, and zero, it's insoluble or unhappy. Then you want to find a sphere where the centre is the HSP of the material you're testing, and the radius shows how broadly it interacts. And you have to do this by a fitting process, and I've guessed that the HSP is 16, a 6, a 6. And when we look at the fitting result, we find that we've got a 0% fit. This is a really lousy fit. The fit here should be 100%. So this guess is pretty lousy. I could put in values by hand until I got a good match, but I can just use the solver functionality in Excel. Up it comes, I've already set the parameters. It's obviously set in the workbook. I hit solve. And it tells me that 17.9, 9.9, 7.6 gives me a 100% fit, and therefore I have found the HSP of this particular polymer. So this is a very powerful way to get to know things about your materials. The other powerful aspect of HSP is creating solvent blends. There's more on this solvent blend sheet than I'm showing you here, but I'll just focus on this. Again, I have a set of solvents, and I can choose to use, for example, 80% benzyl alcohol, 10% acetone, and 10% butyl acetate. And you can calculate the HSP of a blend by averaging them. And so this particular blend is 17.9, 6.5, 12.3. If I've measured another material using the sphere technique, and I know it should be 17.83, this particular blend, 17.9, 6.5, 12.3, is not very good. Well, how can I optimize it? Let's increase a bit of this to, say, 40%. Then we have weird numbers because I've got 130% here. So let's reduce this to 50%. And now I've got 17.0, 7.7, 10.3. It's a very poor fit there, but it's at least closer. With more intelligence, I could work out a solvent blend, or using the optimizer, I could optimize this blend to get the perfect fit. There you are, two rather powerful tools which will help you formulate your adhesives using HSP.